It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here in S3, starting your weekend. And this is an opportunity for you to just enjoy some South African talent after sold out performances in 2022 and 2023 in Johannesburg. One night of Moya transports to the mother city. Now, joining us right now to chat more about this incredible award winning, I'm going to call it an award winning show, but this person is an award winning creative, songwriter, singer, social activist, inspirer, just an all round beautiful person. Simpiwe Dana is here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Make some noise. That's what we're looking for. Simpiwe, yes. Yes, Queen. Yes. I paid them all to clap. Is oh that okay? Oh my God, thank you so, so much. I just had to I because really appreciate yeah, that. It's, it's tough times, you know, it's fine. <laughs> they all got 10 bucks. But what an honor it is to have you. No, thank it's, you so much for having me. It really is a joy, honest. It's, it's and good to be back in Cape Town. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's not a bad city, eh? We don't no, no, no. I mean, I lived here for two years. Okay, mm. yeah. this is very good to hear. Very good. <laughs> but let's talk about this beautiful performance. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it sold out shows 2022, 2023. Yes. It comes with accolades, the show, and you brought it to Cape Town. What is it about the show that is really dazzling audiences, do you think? I think um, is the emotionality um, of the show. Um, yeah. How it delves very deep into the things that we don't talk about. Yes. The feelings that we don't talk about. You know, like how grief can be isolating, um, uh, for instance. Uh, this, this show was uh, created around or after my mom's passing, you know, um, during COVID. And um, so many people had lost so much yes. that, you know, you could not get comfort because everyone needed comfort, you know. So we were all isolated in, in, in our grief and our feelings of loss, et cetera, et cetera. So this work is about um, creating a healing space where you get to uh, be affirmed that your feelings matter, how your feeling matters, yes. you know, and your state of mind matters. It's a beautiful thing for you to capture that. Because often you think of productions and you think, let's jump up and dance and sing and clap. And of course, there's going to be some of that in there. But mm -hmm. I think to just really go deeper, that's yeah, great. Yes. And as you mentioned, you know, this is, it's born out of grief, if you think about it. Mm -hmm. I think the world is grieving and we were kind of strangled by COVID. Yeah, it was and we needed overwhelming. Air. It was completely we overwhelming. Yeah. We needed a breath of air and we, we got more. We literally lived through a pandemic. Yeah. Mm. And that's why it's so special. So the production, I see the production, there's a lot of work that's gone into that. What, yeah. what has the art direction been for you? What did you want to capture on the stage so that we can see what you're trying to portray? I wanted um, the colors of the music wow. to, to, to be expressed. And I wanted the movement of the music to be expressed. So working with Gregory Magoma, yes. um, who is the founder of, of the Vuyani Dance Company and the, the, direct, the art director yeah. of, the, of the show, um, it, and is someone that I've worked with for a number of years, more than a decade. Wow. Um, I knew okay. that he would be able to translate the music into color and movement. And that's what you want to do? Because yes. you, you want people to feel the music, but then you need some more stimulus. You need to see yes. it. Yes. And I, I, I completely yes. feel that. Yes. Uh, so if anybody would like to capture some of this magic that you've created, that was born out of something so pure, mm -hmm. all of the emotions, and then your talent on stage, shoo, it sounds like something that you have to be at. So how Thank do we get you. tickets to your show? You get them from web tickets, um, and I think also at at the door they have a oh, box lovely. office um, there as well. I'm so, so happy that yes. we can have that opportunity because I mean you've been in this industry for such a long time and you've learned so much. So, yes. looking at this show, uh, I would love to ask you about looking at your journey in the music industry and having Moya being your baby now. Uh, that graduation from all that you've been through. What do you think is your biggest learning from this production? Um, actually, I think what I have learned is that you cannot help others if you are not mentally healthy yourself. It just took me a long time to realize that yes. you know, sometimes you have to be selfish and focus on yourself. 
That is beautiful mm. because that's the thing. You know, we often go along life and we we don't take on these these moments and these mm -hmm. things to take stock and actually feel these things. And I'm yes. glad that you've done. Yes. So from what you've seen from the audience enjoying Moya, what have some of the comments been in terms of people enjoying it? Because if it's deeply emotional, I think maybe others who have lost and have seen your show, there's got to be a lot of comfort there. What have you heard from people in your audience that have come to you and, and have said thank you, Simpiwe, for an incredible performance? Well, there's um, quite a number of people that say, you know, I came on the first night and I had to come back on the second night. And some said I even came on the third night. Yes. Um, because it, it, um, the show affirmed me. Yeah. And I just sat there feeling all of my emotions and crying my eyes out <laughs> and it was yes. okay. Oh. So, so that, that's my biggest takeaway from yeah. this. And um, also the impact of it. It's not something that I, I, I had a, you know, an, a, a knowledge of. Yes. Uh, prior to the show, you know, I just was doing a show. Um, wow. And also just, you know, purging my own emotions, you know, around yes. and, or coming to terms with my own emotions around losing my mom, who yeah. was the center of my world yeah. um, in many ways. Thank you for sharing your heart. Thank I think you. that's what Moya is about. Yes. You're sharing a lot of your heart and I think more people need to share. In fact, as we head into this year, for those who are struggling, and who are locking themselves inside, who are still under the stranglehold of their emotions, mm -hmm. that need to take a breath. What would you say to them? And you know what, I think it would be special for you to say this straight to camera mm -hmm. and, and say, anybody who needs more, yeah, please speak to them directly. I would say to you that you are here and there's a reason that you are still here and mm -hmm. your purpose is still intact. And you just have to believe that there's a reason why, why you are still here. Simpiwe, thank you so much. You are absolutely incredible. And I would love to have heard you sing, but I would love for you to reserve your voice for the shows. So I'm going to say that for you. I will, you know, let you off the hook this time. But oh, next time you come you. around, please, Appreciate I would love for you to sing. But I would like to give you a big round of applause for sharing your heart. Thank you. Thank you. Simpiwe Dana on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Grab your tickets. Of course, at the Artscape, Moya is there. And uh, grab your tickets as soon as possible and support some vocals from the locals. More importantly, those vocals that share something that hopefully will inspire you to not lock it in, but share.